Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Hip Kick Club and today's assignment is to be inspired by the mood board which you'll see in just a second and I'm inspired by the wreath in the top centre and I thought I would do something a little bit different and I'd make some circles into a wreath. There are lots of circles in this um, Simple Stories collection which come in the October 2020 kits and so I thought I would use those. So I start by putting the stickers onto a nice thin piece of cardstock from my stash. Uh, my intention is to cut those out so that I can move them around. So I put most of them on there and I wonder if I can use my circle punches to cut to um, cut them out, but I can't. So it's uh, getting done by hand. <laughs> so I'm going to skip through that part. You won't have to watch it all, but I do cut out all of those by hand. Um, I think about leaving a white border to start with, but I changed my mind on that because it's very difficult to keep that white border very, very um, even when you're cutting circles. So there we go. By the power of video, we've cut through me cutting those out, but there they all are now movable. I don't have to stick them straight down to the page, so, um, so that makes them easier. So next up, I'm going to pull out some papers and cut some circles with my punches and those are slightly different shapes different sizes so um we've got lots of different sizes of circles here there'll be four so far because i'm cutting some of those i think the big one is an inch and a half and the small one is an inch so there we go so i cut from some of those papers um i think the orange is a hip kit exclusive the purple, this purple one and tartan is a Amy Tangerine, I think, and the blue one, perhaps the Simple Stories. Um, but I used all th all three makes. I can't remember which which was which, to be honest. But they're all in all in the paper kit uh, and the main kit. So I'm going to put some gesso onto my page, and uh, because I want to do some mixed media, so this is just clear gesso onto smooth white cardstock. And excuse my camera was slipping, I didn't notice, and then I put it back up straight, um, but it does slip again, so I've obviously got something wrong with my stand, which I'll have to deal with, but um, I think you can see everything that I'm doing. So I've pulled out the Lindy's Magicals, and we get three colours of those, and I'm going to use all three of them. The first one is the orange one, and it's called Red Hot Poker Orange, and that's the one I'm putting on just right at the moment. And I'm just using the packaging technique to put it all the way around a circle, which I um, I actually drew. You didn't see me do that, but I did draw a circle onto the page so that I could follow that circle around. Um, but this isn't a precise science, you know. You just um, it's just a messy background that you just see around the edges of the circles later. So I'm going to do some splatters also with that colour. And um, I do dry that a little bit off camera with my heat tool, uh, which you also don't see. Um, and then I just roll my paper towel over it to finish that. Then I pull out the yellow um, magical, which is called Marigold Yellow Orange. It's a nice goldy colour. It's really pretty. So um, I do some splatters in that and dry those slightly. And then I get the third magical, which is called Autumn Maple Crimson. It's sort of like a deep pinky red colour, purpley maybe almost, and um, do some splatters with that. And then I go over that with my towel, paper towel. They don't show up hugely. I just wanted a subtle amount to match with the purpley paper that we've got of the circles. So now I'm going to rearrange well, arrange, I'm not rearranging, I'm arranging the circles around this mixed media circle that I've made. And there are lots of them, so um, they fill up this space nicely. So all those stickers, all those cutout circles that I did, and um, yeah, I think it looks nice. It's a bit of a different take on a wreath, but um, I do like circles. They're nice, quick and simple way to make an effective layout when you are perhaps thinking for, thinking of ideas circles are always a really good option okay so just putting those all onto the page and i like how that looks so i'm not really going to play with that the circle works well um looks very circular 
<laughs> always best to draw the line so that you can get that effect. If I tried to do that freehand, that would not be a circle. It would be an oval or maybe even squarish. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so just backed my photo with some photos with some pocket life cards. And those two photos are of my dog. He's um, just he was just out playing in the leaves, and uh, he was just looking very sweet, just standing there with his nose in the air. He wouldn't look at the camera, but um, yeah, he's he's very photogenic, but doesn't ever pose for the camera because he's just obviously too important to look at my camera. I don't know. <laughs> I do get his face sometimes, but. Um, it's difficult. So now I'm going to stick all of these down. So I'm just sticking those the larger circles with some wet glue, just sticking those down. Um, that glue I'm using is Scotch Tacky Glue in a fine liner bottle. It doesn't come in that bottle, I dispense it into there. Um, and then I'm going to get some foam, these are foam pads, to put on some of the other circles. Not all of them, but quite a few I'm raising off the page. And these are really 3D dots, um, which I like. So, um, yeah, so I cut through that a little bit so you didn't have to watch it. And now I'm just putting my photos onto the um, to the mats that I made for them. And I like the way that he's looking up towards the circles rather than out of the layout. So that's that's a very Missy Wooden thing to do. She <laughs> she always has to have them people facing the right way. And uh, yeah, so it works perfectly with this. So I just pulled out those, um, they're called brads from Simple Stories, but they're actually just sticky back, and I put those on, and now I've stuck everything down. I cut through that as well so that you didn't have to watch it. So I'm just putting some foam onto the back of my photos to pop those off the page. The foam of the, behind the photos isn't quite as high as the um, foam on the circles that I used, but um, but it still raises it up a little and adds that bit of um, dimension to the layout. So I just put that upright to see if anything would fall off and it didn't, thank goodness. I stuck everything down, even those brads, because um, things don't like to stick to mixed media. So now I'm going to use do my title, which is going to be Hello Fall, and I'm just trying to figure out where to put fall there. Um, and I decided to go under the photo in the end. And I like how that looks, and I think that that is the end of the process. Here's the final layout. I hope it gives you some inspiration and um, for following the mood board. Um, there's been lots of circles on this layout, but the kit had lots of circles, so it was really perfect to do this. So here are some close-ups as well for you to take a look at. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Hip Kit Club. Bye-bye.